hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to see how we can get this very ugly looking listing page of our products into something which is interesting but before we dive in so far we have created our products page right but this needs a little bit of refactoring so why don't we first do a little bit of refactoring and then also you know get some good layout for this page so let's get started by the way for the ui what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this component library from hyper ui okay this is quite interesting it has nice tailwind components and i have used it and i have felt these are quite easy to use so i highly recommend if you want to if you're not very good with the ui part of it and you generally want to do stuff then yes and this is what you want to do there are a hell lot of components there are a lot of e-commerce components as well specifically designed for e-commerce right and they keep updating things for example if you see they said cards are updated they have around 27 different cards so which is kind of good where you can take any of them and they are quite beautiful to be honest right so let's get started and see how to do things so quickly inside here the first thing that I would like to do is hmm, we have index okay and this index is doing quite a few things we have our vendor service and all those stuff but it's products it's slash products right that that's not something which we want to do ideally it should be the home page okay uh, what I will do is so I copy everything out of here and maybe put it somewhere oops no um i need this actually so let me see what can i do over here uh, let's just copy this okay and in here everything which is inside the main goes away i'll just get rid of the footer if we need that later i'll do that and yeah that's generally what we are going to do okay and let's see what all things do we need we need the interface it has props products right and let's start importing stuff in here okay this is done now obviously I need this entire thing of the server side code, right? So let's do that over here. Import add missing. Should yeah, should pick up everything. Okay, and with that, let's just go to slash, which is the home route, and see that whether everything is correct. And it is. Right, so the only thing that now I would like to do is get rid of these styles per se. Uh, because everything should be tailwind, so I don't need those styles. I can get rid of this and then inside the styles, I'll get rid of the home module as well. Just so that there is no unnecessary code. Nothing is breaking, so yeah. We are back here. Okay. Correct. So this is done. And what we would like to do is obviously first things first, get a navigation. So I, I think there are where are those navigation items? Damn, why can't I find it? Navigation, right? <clears throat> so we have about career. This is fine. Not exactly an e-commerce kind of a thing. Okay. Mm, typical stuff. This is nice. Maybe I'll use this. Okay, so I'll let's see the code. It has a header and then the markup, right? So why don't we use this? Go inside VS Code and we'll create a folder called components. Inside that, let's just say we have a folder called header 
and then inside it we have index.tsx okay so export rather constant header that's interesting i think i need to have my editor config as well because it's taking four spaces instead of two so what i'm saying is this is the root indent size should be two style should be space instead of tabs end of line utf8 characters so far so far right MD, I don't need this. Maybe just keep it there. All right, so far so good. And now, class is this. What I will do is this is a very common requirement when you steal HTML code for your React component that you need to do a class name should be, uh, sorry, class should be replaced with class name and not sure if this exists in multiple places it does right they these needs to change because it basically is like this all of them changed yes it did and then i have this one as well three four four and this is stroke width two three Four. Four. okay so this is done and let's see what do we have in here oh obviously i don't have anything in here so far because i haven't included it yet so main is here and then if i do something like header in here save i'm getting it that's fine i think this should work for us now we need card the navigation is done we will have those links later on which will you know uh, point to your products page and stuff like that but we need cards so go to hyper ui this is a simple card i need something which is e-commerce kind of a card let's just see and not this one i know there are there are e-commerce type cards but am i looking at the wrong place this is more like a property card not this one as well. Hmm. Where is my e-commerce card? Or is it inside the e-commerce thing? I, I don't know. Have they changed this? Uh, maybe e-commerce. Right. I think they are product cards. That's why I'm not getting it. <laughs> right. I'm so sorry about this. So let's let's try and see if there is something interesting and simple. This is too flashy or jazzy, whatever you call it. It has a heart. Maybe I'll just use this. Okay. Simple stuff. It has an A tag and that is fine. So what do we do? We will, inside our components, we'll create product card. Okay. Index.tsx. Instant like so and then export product card and then obviously the search replace awesome this is here if there's anything on the no there's nothing actually this is all that i wanted to do because there's no um svg in here this image i'll have to whitelist so those of you who don't know why, what is uh, whitelisting and why do we need to do this? The thing is, in Next.js, when we use the image component, okay, it does a little bit of alteration with the image and stuff like that, right? So what happens is, if you are loading images from specific domains, which is not the same domain as where your Next.js app is running, for example, if you are loading something from other than localhost right if if it is an ip if it is some domain and in here it is images.unsplash.com i'll have to whitelist it if i don't do it let's see what happens actually you should know this so yeah come over here i have products right so why don't we don't do anything else but just get the product card and images are coming that's weird i thought they won't 
Oh, yes. They are coming because these are not from the image component of Next.js. It's, it's an image tag and Next doesn't recommend you doing that at all. Okay. It has a lot of good things in this image in this uh, component but for that you'll have to use it obviously uh, source equals why don't we hard code it for now we'll get the required thing later on obviously and layout i think it's fill right this is done alt obviously we should add and the class name should come over here as well get rid of this image tag and now it should break and it does it says invalid source prop so how do we do that it also gives you this link where you can understand what is to be done but basically i'll tell you host name this is not configured under images in your next config so simple right let's go to our image con uh, next config js images it's an object which takes a key called domains which has an array and this is dot unsplash where is my code this is what will be required over here and now can you see it says found a change in next config js restart the server right so we will restart the server as it says so far so good and what do we have in here no images no we do we do thank god so we have something over here uh looks a little odd what why don't we hmm, why don't we do something like class name grid grid call or gap and be happy with it will this work it does but that's a bit weird only the first image is coming and then nothing else right i need the key that i understand so let's pass this and get rid of this that error at least because complaining continuously about that but other than that may not render properly with the parent using static consider changing the parent style to relative with a width and height okay i got it it's going to create a problem why don't we do one thing we get rid of this and to width equals what do we get what's the height and width which looks good over here. See? Right, this one. What is it? 448 by 450. So 450 by 450 should be fine, I think. 450. I was close enough. Height. Now, everything is fine. Pages are loading. And we have our cards as well. Now, I can do a lot of things like you know get, get those padding and margin everything in place, but generally we are able to list these things. And yeah, the card is rendering properly. All right. So I think in this video we have covered quite a few things in terms of you know we refactored our code so that we added a new page. Uh, rather we don't we haven't added, but we rather moved our products into that thing right and then what we did was obviously created this navigation this component and we have used that component to display this data right and we also saw what next config can do because we have the white listed the domains and configured it so that those images are now visible so in the next video why don't we take one more step and look at what happens when I want to see the product details because that is also very important uh, when we handle that we will see how we can on the server side run one more query 
where we get the slug, we get the product slug, and we fetch a product details using that slug, and then display that item, right? And also, because it is going to take a static prop, I'll have to also run one more GraphQL query so that I can build all those routes which are possible based on the route or based on the product list that we have, right? So for now, this is what I wanted to cover. See you in the next video. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.